Hey, welcome back. Today I thought I'd do a couple of things. One, a classic French dish, and, well, with my modern take to it. And I'm also going to go back and bring up some golden oldies, such as the pomegranate molasses that I'm going to make now. If you remember a few years back, I combined pomegranate molasses with pork belly which is a lot like bacon. Okay, so 16 ounces of pomegranate juice, four ounces of honey, juice of one lemon, and this time I'm gonna add in a little bit of spice. I'm gonna throw in some cinnamon, star anise, and some black pepper. Oh, you did see the salt that I put in, right? We're going to bring this up to a boil and uh, we'll back it down to a simmer and uh, just pretty much reduce it down to a nice thick syrup. There we go. Nice thickness. We're going to strain this out and we'll get on to the lentils. For the lentils, we'll get started with uh, rendering out some bacon. We want a little bit of color, but we don't want them overly crisp. And you'll see why when we're done. While that's going on, I'm going to chop up about a quarter of an onion. Doesn't have to be a, a perfect dice here. Rough dice is fine. There, that looks good. I got a lot of the fat out of it. Got a little bit of color. Now it's time to add that onion. And we're also gonna add one clove of garlic. And we'll cook this down until, well, the onion's kinda translucent. There, just like that. Let's add in our lentils. I've got two cups of lentils. I want to stir that, uh, that bacon fat into the lentils themselves. And then we'll get uh, started adding some liquid. I'm going to go with chicken stock. Now I'm going to do things a little bit differently here. And the main reason why is because I want to use as little of the liquid as I can. Because I don't want to have to strain this out. So I'm going to start off with about a pint of chicken stock. I'm probably going to go up to about two quarts. So kind of like a risotto style, I guess you could say.
There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Nice and tender. And it looks like it's falling apart. Now, some of you lentil enthusiasts are going to say, yeah, well, you did it wrong. Well, not if I'm going to puree it like this. Now, let's add a little cream and a little bit of butter and we'll continue for puree. Let's get on to the pork belly. So pork belly, you want to braise it first before you uh, uh, saute it or fry it or whatever you want to do with it. So this has been braised off in beer, uh, ancho chilies, cumin, coriander, ginger, and garlic. Okay, we'll sear off this side, get some nice color on it, then we're going to finish this in the oven. Then we'll get on with the scallops. Okay, here are our scallops. I've got U10s. U10 means that there are less than 10, or 10 or less, in a pound. So these are pretty big guys. So I season them with uh, salt and white pepper. Give them a flip. Oh, that's beautiful. Good, we got a sear started on the second side. Now let's add a little bit of herb butter. And by the way, the herb butter is another video I did. That was about six months ago. We'll baste it with the butter. Now these guys are almost done. You don't want to overcook your scallops. You want them nice and tender. Now let's go back to the pork belly. Came out of the oven. A little bit too much fat in there for me. Um, we're going to just mop it up just a bit. And next, we're going to start adding the pomegranate molasses to it. Okay, it's time to play. We'll put down our lentils. Next, the uh, pork belly. And finally, we're gonna stack these uh, scallops on top of the pork belly.
Now, don't forget that butter. That butter's got a lot of flavor in it. Making a nice little pan sauce. And we might as well use up some of that uh, pomegranate molasses we just cooked in the, uh, the pork bellies. Yeah, nice and colorful. Now, finally, I've got a little bit of chopped up bacon. And that's pretty much it. Please go ahead and like, subscribe, you know, smash all those buttons down there. I'll see you next week.